Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. In this episode let's start with some in interesting bits. I've finished doing all the business with the um, uh, Better With Mod stuff and got that working. So I'll show you that in a second. So first of all I'm going to show you something else. I was asked a question by Giovanni Games. How He was having problems with some thermal fan thermal expansion stuff. So let's see if we can actually do this. We're going to make a um, an item duct. I'll probably make a fluid duct as well. So let's have a look. Have we got it in there? Is it? Oh, duct. Can't spell again. There we go. So what I'd like to do is I'll probably make a fluid duct. I'm going to make six of these. Not 64. And I'll make an item duct. I have to make opaque at the moment because there's no chance of me doing anything else and we'll also make a servo and I think probably at the moment I'd probably be best off making this one and I haven't got any glass so I've got some glass in here so let's get some glasses out of here in fact I probably could make the next one up the hardened servo because I have got some invar oh we'll make that we'll make the hardened servo it just affects mostly it affects speed and there are some other bits and pieces which are affected by it and i'm going to let's demonstrate this with these with these swords i'm going to get through my inventory i have to clear my inventory for a bit won't i um i'm going to do that let's get rid of this another right and let's get rid of some of this um bait i notice i've got some bait on my in my hands here Let's put half of it in here. And I can't clear anything out of there. <laughs> I'll put the other half in there. Um, and probably I'll take the bones out of here if I can. Yeah, that'll do for the time being, I think. And I can take some feathers out as well. Right, that'll do for the time being, and I'm going to put those away. Just to leave a little bit more space, that's all. Uh, and of course my inventory management is appalling. So they go over here. Put some feathers. Could see a nice selection of feathers actually. So let's see if we can get those other two swords we can good. So this little demonstration won't take too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down two chests, one here and one here. And between those I'm going to put some uh, item ducts, uh, fluid ducts, item ducts, like this. In fact, I'll put the other ones away in my bag actually. I'll put the, yeah, those and those. I don't need the others for the time being. And I'm into this one, I'm going to put all the gold swords. Now if we have a look at this one, this one's got a, does it tell me the durability? Yes it does. So it's got a durability of three. This one's got 15, this one's got nine, this one's five and this one's two. So they're all different. So now we can put this uh, server down here like that. And nothing will happen for the time, but you can right click it here. And then you have a blacklist and whitelist. So you could say whitelist. And we could actually take a sword out of here like this. And then right, put a sword in here. So it'll whitelist these swords. So we can then turn it on. So let's turn it on. Now there's two ways to turn it on. You can either right click it here and then select ignore the redstone control or we can put down a lever I love levers don't you and you can turn it on now what should appear in here is one sword as long as it's on I don't need a lot sword I'll put it back again oh yeah there it just took a, it just took its time to come through now if I come along here and I said I've got him use metadata which is basically the damage levels on here, the durability. So if I turn this on, we should get two more swords going through, or turn it off. We should get two more swords coming into here. So the ones with the different damages, like that. And in here we're left with these two. Now these have got, you ex may expect these to go through, but because they, they're enchanted, they're not going to go through, because they've got a different 
um, MBT data. Is that the right one? No, it's not the right one. That's metadata, MBT data, yeah, which is basically a list of enchantments. So the other way to do it, of course, is simply turn it off like that. And then when it's on, things get passed through. You can do exactly the same with liquids or whatever. And of course, you can blacklist items in here. Say, I don't want other items going through. So there we are. Now I've turned that off. Everything should have gone through. That chest there. Whitelisting nothing, blacklisting nothing. Blacklisting nothing will push everything through. So we should get the other two swords coming out in here. Just like that. So I hope that explains uh, servos to you. Now the next thing I'm going to do is have a look back here. You see I've tidied it all up. I brought, first of all, let's go down here. I brought this down one level, layer here, and then I put the redstone signal down through here. So this this chimes, then it's going to turn it on and, and stop that gearbox. So so that basically means three blocks uh, three blocks underneath the ground is the is this. What I messed up last time, I should have put, I should have been driving the bellows so that they go up and down when you drive it they only go down so you have to turn it off and that's what this was for now in this chest here i should have a redstone torch and a piece of uh, well no matter what i use in this case just a block of some description so we'll put a block of uh, stone bricks on it and then we'll put a redstone torch on one of these like that and that will turn around so when it turns around, it's going to affect this block here. So I need a block of red, a uh, bit of redstone here, like that. And I can put this on here like that, and then they will. It will light up every once in a while. And it's actually set to three. And when it lights up, this turns this off, which then makes these active, like that. So what I can also do is I can take another lever, which I haven't got with me. I'll put a lever. I'll take that lever from over here and put that lever on that's actually what it was intended for in the first place <laughs> and I'll tidy this up between episodes too so if I put a lever on this gear box here I can turn it off and that'll just turn off eventually if, um, and go back to orange so then it'll crucible won't if we've got crucible underneath it won't work so now the kiln now the kiln's going to work. So what we do, oh, I also put some redstone down here. Redstone, turn it on, turns off the turns off the flames. Put it back on again, like that. Very simple device. I also have tidied it up, made it look a bit better. See what I've done is I put some <laughs> nether right around the sides. Just decorative, no put, no no use for it at all. So let's just get a bit of nether rack here. I need one block. So I can actually get up and put stuff into the kiln like this. So now when we put stuff into the kiln, let's put in, for example, this unfired urn. This will start, as you see now, it's going to cook. When it's actually cooked, it'll come out of here. It'll actually get thrown away like that. So we have to go and pick it up if I can. We're not near enough. Gosh. Okay, let's put this bed nether act nearer. Put it down. Yeah. Right now I can pick it up. So let's and I got quest completed, urn fired. We can do the same thing for the unfired crucible. We'll do that one as well. And that's going to do the same thing. Like that. And I should get another quest rule completed. And then the last one we'll do is we'll do an unfired planter. But they don't take very long. And let that cook. So I just completed, what, three quests in a few seconds. That's pretty good, isn't it? Doesn't happen very often. Like that. So that's how that all works. And of course, now I've got to build another hibachi so I can put the cauldron onto it. In fact, I probably could move it here and put the cauldron down just here. No, I can't. I've got to do it on the other side, haven't I? I really need the cauldron to be here. 
Okay, I'll think about it. And this bit here, all this is, is basically, if I just dig down a little bit here. All I've gone is down three blocks. Gotta get out. Get a whole, put some gearboxes down. They go all the way through with axles like this. So that just makes things sort of quite well hidden, really, doesn't it? Like that. So that's happening in all of these. So here's a turntable I can actually use to turn stuff. And here is the saw. And in this case, I've done all the hoppers again, so they're all pointing into this chest here. So anything I put down will end up in that chest. I don't have any wood with me, do I? No. And I can turn it on and off like this. And I can do the same again for the for the grind uh, for the millstone. Just turn it off like that. So that just going across the top there because it has to go in that way. So that's catching anything that's being dropped down there as well. So that is my f I think my finished design for these things at the moment. I don't think we need anything else for a while, but we now need to go and do this soul urn. So I've got the filter toppers on with me, and I've got an urn. In fact, what I should do is make some more urns, shouldn't I? But I won't do that. I'll do that between episodes. Something you'd, I'll show you once, and then that's probably enough, isn't it? So, um, what do I need? Some soul sand and some hellfire dust. Or not hellfire dust. What we we'll need to make is the hellfire dust. Soul sand. I've got one in there. That will be sufficient for what we need. And then we need some ground netherrack which I can't see huh I'm sure I've got I oh, don't need those I want some of this I'm sure I've got some ground netherrack somewhere unless I used it all up okay well, let's just come down here and put this in there's netherrack in here we we have to put up with the noises of the gas when we do this <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's just life isn't it let's shove that in there they are dreadful noises. <laughs> so if we watch this now, you should see it. anything that gets thrown out will end up like that. And will end up in this chest here. So we need, I think we need 12, 16 of these. So that's going to take a few seconds to do. So let's leave that while that's doing that. Oh. <laughs> Go and do something else. Goodness. I remember what I wanted to talk about. Psycho Mangle gave me a tip. And he says, underneath these stairs here, there is a chest. But I've been down here. I was watching your video about it as well. But there's no chest in my world, as far as I can see. We have to be a bit careful down here, because... There is, underneath all of this, as, a great, as you can see on the map, mini-map now, there's a great big um, lava lake, so we can't go down too far. If we do, we end up in lava, which we don't really want to be doing, do we? Like that. Here we go. As you can see, just at the border of the lava lake. So I have to be careful. We have to be careful. So let's not do that. Let's put these back again now. Hopefully, I've got enough netherite with me to fill in this hole. Oh, yes, of course, the one piece that went disappeared. Let's go and get another one piece. <laughs> Fell in the hole straight away. I feel that end, because if I don't, we'll, we'll have difficulty getting in and out of the things. Let's take that one. Now, that might be because I have an older world. I was started to do this series when it was still as a development mod. So let's have a look, how many of these we've got? 14. So we're nearly there, just got two more to go. <laughs> I think this is bad. There's another one. 15. 
Yeah, 48 would be right, wouldn't it? 16. There we go. So what I did last time with this is I did it over here, didn't I? And since then I've removed... Actually, they still haven't grown. I removed these top bits here, so they should, I was hoping to see these growing a bit more. But it hasn't been that long. So let's go and try this again. Soul Urn. So in this, this time, what we have to do is we put down the Soul Urn first. Now, I remember for when I was doing my videos for Forever Stranded, when I did the look this up on the um, JEI, it was J because it was t version 10. You it did actually show you this. So let's put a filter top down there like that. In the in the diagram, and this time it doesn't show it to you. So there we go. Let's start on top of this now and start chucking this onto this. In fact, maybe I can just drop it. Let's just do it like this. And as you can see, this time I got a solo and 16 Hellfire Dust from one hopper. <laughs> and I got some bits. I think I got some bits back. I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. Let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I actually what I would like to do is to um, put these into a cauldron. Have I got a cauldron around here? Oh yeah, that's still grinding. Still grinding, isn't it? Um, no, I think I put the cauldron away. I need to put some fire down and get the cauldron burning on that one. To get these things smelted up. I'm just wondering, that's actually going to be a bit trickier than I wanted it to be, isn't it? Um, it's not in there. I can check what I have got in there to be honest with you. I've forgotten what to put in there, so let's have a look. Cauldron. I think oh it might be my bag. Indeed it is. I lost the other one too. That wasn't very good. I think I said it fell into fi fire. So have we got any fire about it? Actually, I haven't got any fire about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to turn this off and break this bit. Off. So let's turn that off so we get an ordinary flame. Ah, uh, no. One more thing to do. <laughs> I think I need a muffler for those things. Goodness. Let's get some more clay out of here. Clay, clay, where have I put the clay? Is it still in this? I thought I took it all out actually. Yes, I did. Uh, where have I put the clay? That's grout, isn't it? Oh, there we go, some clay. Let's, let's make two more urns because we're going to need some more anyway. And then I can make some soul urns, bef fired urns before I do all of this, can't I? So let's put these down on top of this one. And get the pickaxe ready. Oops, I'm being attacked again. Of course I'm being attacked. Let's just get the... Where's it gone to? There we go. One urn. The next one down. Planter, bars, so let's quickly go and fire those two urns. Oh, I've got to turn it back on again, haven't I? Oops. Two ends, good. 
So I can turn that back off again. And just break these brick. Actually, I'll turn off the flames altogether. I'll just break this brick here. And I can put the cauldron here, I think. And into that cauldron we can put the hellfire dust. Yes, the hellfire dust. Let's turn that back on again. And they should start to cook up nicely. In fact, while they're doing while they're cooking it, let's go I need to make another hibachi. And I can put that wherever wherever I want to, because it's a good source of flames, isn't it, Hibachi? And then we could have a stroke cauldron. Wow. So how much have we got now? 35. Oh, that's plenty. Leaving three. We've got 32. That's two sixteens, which will do nicely for what we've got already. Let's go quickly and make these two. I think I must have been tired the other day because I couldn't figure this out. And it asked me what I was doing wrong, but there we are. So let's put this down here like that. Soul sand. Oh, I only got one piece of soul sand. That's not so great. Let's stand on this again and take these. Do like this. Half those. Oop, missed. Try again. Oops, missed again. Oops, and it just jumps on the ground. That's not so great. Still like this. Oh. Must be I must, I must be missing a bit, mustn't I? I did yeah, I must, I must be missing. Let's just chuck them in in that case. <laughs> right, that was one. And I get the 16, yeah, perfect. Okay, let's try again. So now I've got 32 of those things. Hopefully they're a bit quieter in the base. <laughs> in fact, I need to put those in the cauldron, don't I? So let's go and do that. There's a mob around as well. I've seen one just on the minimap. Yeah, indeed. I've got two ingots. Great. Now where's the mob? Here. That must be above my head, okay. Oh, it's one of them. Right, and I got two more hearts. Which is actually awesome, let's go pick up that one. So let's use those two hearts straight away. Oh, what happened there? Ding dong. Does that mean give me another layer or is that the end of the hearts? I've got to... Uh, I think that's the end of the hearts, isn't it? It's not if I get any more. So have we got to do now? Right, we've got another one. That's our three. Another mob as well. Number one. Hopefully that's the last of those for the time being. <laughs> hmm. So we've got three three ingots, so that's what we need for the next hibachi, so let's go and make one of those another one of those I have to get through the door first ah, oh, I'm doing wrong I've got no food with me, ok I finished all my food off uh, I've got plenty in the bag Let's eat a bit. <laughs> I've got them in my bag. Try that one. 
Do I get the soul sand back again? Oh, I didn't realise I got the soul sand back again. Looks like I am getting it back again, doesn't it? So let's make another hibachi. Ah, so we need some heating elements. Okay, that was... What was that? It's an ordinary piece of string. Okay, good. So, one glowstone. I'm going to make at least two of these, aren't I? One... And some string. We're going to put those in the cauldron. We don't need a stroke cauldron for this. So those that that should make an element. In fact, we'll have enough to actually make two hibatches with all these hell firing concentrated hell firing guts. Looks like that's just about finished. Um, yeah, and I think these do they go quicker or slower? Or does it take about the same time? It probably takes about the same time actually. Let's go and set up that recipe as much as we can do before we come back and get those and I can also put something away in my inventory which I don't like or I don't need with me which is these things here uh, redstone I can also put that away and get a bit of some space I, I created some extra repeaters let's get rid of those don't need those and the gears and the corners and the mouldings etc we can get rid of those as well and I've got another axle I use quite a lot of axles for doing all of that stuff up so let's get on and do this as much as we can so it's just stone I think it's stone or cobblestone I'm not exactly sure which we'll take both I can't shift click it in so it's stone, not cobblestone. So we just got to go and get those elements now. Let's go and get those two. They should both be finished. Well, I hope so. Yeah, they are. That filaments are done. So let's see if we can do that this time. Heating element. What's... Uh, I'm quite messed up here. Oh, blaze powder. Oh, okay. I messed up. Where well, I think blaze powder. Oh, I need the film for something else, but I'm not exactly. I can't remember what it is. Why are they still making a noise? Is that a real gas walking along? bits of holes around here aren't there well I don't see one what I can do of course as well I can actually dig up these bits of dirt for some reason or other there's dirt all over this place I can't dig up that yet I've got about one level below I think and some of this stuff in fact I should you get there's quite a lot of dirt underneath here in fact if I remember rightly when I was looking for that chest there's about eight pieces of dirt and there's coal we don't want to dig it up because we're right over the lake so we have to watch out for that as well let's put the let's put another rat back here no nope, i'll do it the other way don't i <laughs> oh i've got plenty of xp let's use, let's use the xp for something mining 25 okay that should do that one that gives me level 26 so I should be able to dig this up now let's just press the 
or minor button or the or excavator button. Whoops. Oh, I've got it on two by two. And as you see, there's more and more dirt underneath here. So let's just dig this one out. I can't do Ardite yet, but I can do... Um, that's really weird. Now I can do cobalt, and there's a few bits more. There's a few more pieces of cobalt around. But having said that, I reckon that this will be finished now. So let's go back and get these two heating elements. Indeed, they are good. So the goal of today's video is getting right. Hey, Batchy, let's get that done to actually make some soul steel, um, soul forged steel. And then when I've got that, we can then carry on and do other stuff with it. Um, what am I using underneath there? I think I am using a redstone torch. Have I got a redstone torch on me? Yes, I have. Have I got redstone? Just to make sure I've got some redstone. So I don't, if I need any, it, I've got it already. I don't need these filaments. Let's put those filaments into this chest here. So now I can put the cauldron in a proper place and put the other Hibachi down here. I think, I forgot how I did this to be honest with you, let's just have a look. Yeah, I've got a redstone torch on these here. And that's how they're getting turned on and off. And I only need the one redstone torch, that's right, yes, exactly. So if I put the next Hibachi here, it should light up and I should be able to turn it off here as well, like that. which is excellent. So what I'm going to do now is to remove this one and put the Hibachi just here. I think that may or may not work. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just try it. Let's turn it on again. No, it needs the redstone signal underneath this one as well. Um... I'm not sure. I'll figure that out. For the time being, what we'll do is just put a torch down here. And that'll turn this one on. Like that, we'll turn this back on again now. So that should also, like this one, should also go blue. Oh, it's not doing. Why not? Do I need to put the kiln back again? If it doesn't, I'll just do it the other side. Ah, oh, it's not working. Okay. Right, I'll turn it off. Maybe it's too far away. I thought it would have worked from there. I seem to remember it working like that before, because you could do nine. So with nine would be that included. Let's put this over here. Yeah, I think here's a good place. Put the battery down there and light it with a torch. Let's turn on the others. So now that's blue, and I should be able to put the cauldron here now. Without it, eat, without it being a problem. So there's no recipes yet. So we'll have. So let's go and get the ingredients we need now for the um, soul forged. Deal. And that means I can then do all of this between episodes. Can you see me make the urn? Because that was the hardest bit, I think. So what we need is a soul forged deal. I don't know how I did that. That one. Cauldron. So it's some. So it's some dust. Uh, coal dust and the soul urn. Okay, so we've got three pieces. So let's just take three pieces. I've got one coal dust here, and I can take another two. And three pieces of iron. I'm not sure whether or not I can grind this in the in the millstone. We'll try it because it's not going to do any harm to try it, is it? 
So let's put those two in there. Do they go? Yes, they do. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can put into this stroke cauldron these things, and it should start to go blue. Unless that's the wrong type of dust. Might be mine, it. Or should we just typical us if this one works? Cauldron, stroke cauldron. What am I doing wrong here? A oh, stroke crucible. <laughs> okay, that's uh, not what I thought. Okay, so that's no big deal either. We just turn this all off. should go out. The reason I'm doing that is just in case anything falls into the fire. Straight crucible. And it's the same interface as the other one, so let's put the these back into that like that. Turn that on so it'll be blowing. And turn this on so we can get some flames going through and then put the redstone torch down again oh it's working look at that and in here that's also working so let's go over here and get the last piece of coal and we should get a soul any second now we should get our first piece of steel there we go. And I get the urn back again, the fired urn. Which is actually really good. So I'm going to just, I don't know whether we've got a quest for that. Let's go and have a look at the quests while those are cooking along. So this is still better with mod stuff. So we basically completed all of these quests here. Let's have a look, what do we get for this loot chest? Claim that one, done. This one, planter. Two planters, I'm not sure what I use the planters for, to be honest, we have to look that up as well. A vase, we get those, done. An urn, item reward, I haven't got, and we got a creeper oyster, awesome. I don't think I've got enough space for that, so let's just go inside and get the space for that one. What do I not need in here? Oh, we've got some that one and some dirt. We can put the dirt in there for the time being, can't we? And some grass. We don't need that. And we don't need this stone anymore. Well, actually, we do. Let's put that into here because we're going to need that for the next hibachi. And F4, let's go and cl claim this reward. Done. Have I got anything thrown away? I've still got space. Yes, I have. Good. So let's get the next last one of these quests done. And then we'll open up the things. So we get another item reward claim done. So that doesn't leave too much. I haven't done slime balls. We'll do that next episode, I think. In the meantime, let's open up some of these. A watering can. Well, can I say? I'll put it in here because I don't know what else to do with it for the time being. Oh, we've got some redstone latches. Oh, that's actually pretty good too. Saves a bit of work making those things. We've got four creepers, oyster creepers. That's really good because that means we can make four diamond whatever we want to make with that. Redstone, redstone flux duct. Solidified experience and experience pipe. That's pretty good as well, actually. Red, a rainbow lamps again. What have we got this time? Toasted bread. An XP tap. Ah, oh, great. And a feral flare lantern. Torchmaster. Removing the lantern. Slowly leaves a large area. Removes the lantern causes the lights to slowly decay. Oh, interesting. That's something I've not seen before either. Let's go and put it down. Where should we put this down? It's hard to tell actually. Let's repress F4, uh, F7. We can see the, the area lit down here. So if we light this area up, 
it might prevent embers going on around me. Where's my... Ah, here. Nope. Here it is. <laughs> Missed it. Let's just put this down. I have no idea what a large area is. Oh, let's have a look. Slowly lights a whole area, a large area. Well, it's certainly a lot more than um, a, a torch. Well, that looks pretty good. One down over there, and put one down this side over here. Where should we put it? Let's put it there. See if that actually improves our, reduces the number of mobs that we're getting spawned around. It looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Well, you see, this disappeared there. This is the odd bit and piece which is not lit up properly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I shall see you next time. I've had fun making it, by the way. So until then, bye for now.